Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, and I'm in a dry lake bed near Las Vegas. I'm gonna to talk to you really quickly about supports. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally, where you'll go behind the scenes to see how great photos are made. Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV. The reason I go to Adorama, it's a real store with real people, and I've got friends and associates there who have guided me through all my camera purchases for years. Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV. I'm on location on a dry lake bed near Las Vegas. And if you notice behind me, the dry lake's not dry, given my history of rain following me everywhere. True to form, okay, it's supposed to be arid and cracked earth. It's actually a lake. But location work, you do what you do, you improvise. So I'm just gonna to talk to you really briefly today about supports, lighting supports on location. You bring lights on location, you gotta put them on something. So I'm just gonna to talk to you really simply, really directly about the difference between a regular stand and why I go to the trouble of bringing a big heavy stand like a C-stand even though I'm using a small light. So I oftentimes bypass the very handy option of the regular stand and I go to the time and trouble and you know, legwork of bringing heavier stands. C-stand, century stand, okay? I have been told that it got the name century stand uh, from back in the old movie days when they came in heights of 100 inches. Cool. Now they come in all different heights and you know sizes, etc. I use a standard straight up Avenger C-stand, okay? It comes in three parts. It's got a turtle base, it's got a center riser, and it's got an extension arm, okay, with a grip knuckle. Now this, if you take this off, this is actually a C-stand, right? The riser, the turtle base. Put this on it, it's a C-stand complete, in location language anyway. So why do I do this? Take the time and effort to do big stand, small light. Basically this, the flexibility the extension arm gives you. I can fly this light overhead of me, okay? I can stay compositionally clean in here. I can maneuver it and fine tune it and get that small flash exactly where I want it. It's the small things on location that either will kill you or help you. Another small thing that we add on, if you will, to the C-stand is this right here. It's called a nail pin. It gives us another point of control at the end of the grip knuckle. If I didn't have this nail pin, I'd have to stick the C-stand down in here. This is the end of things that gives me fine tuning, articulation, etc. So we get this extra little bit, and you know, it's called a nail pin, and it's, you know, four or five inches long, slides into the grip knuckle, and I'm able to be flexible and, you know, precise with the light. The other thing is, just as quick location tips for C stand use, anytime you have a light on the, on the extension arm, this is the, where the weight is. You always put it towards the side of the grip knuckle where it tightens down. So in other words, it goes in the direction where this, okay, tightens and holds the light. Because now, if I push on it, it'll just continue to tighten down on itself. If I go the other way, it'll loosen on itself, accelerate, and possibly strike your subject in the head, which would be a bad day in the field. So always use this lead leg to support the direction of the weight, where the weight is going. Don't put it in between the legs because then it has no support and it could get tippy and just go over on you. So again, quick tips. Um, reason I drag these bigger stands for these smaller lights. So on location, big stand, small light. Kind of crazy, but it works. Once again, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.